As soon as plastic reaches the sea, it becomes a silent killer. And this is something we all need to understand. All over the world, the seas are facing global environmental stress. And the west coast of Sweden, where I come from, is one of the most littered areas in Europe. The North Sea and its inhabitants are being destroyed by us humans as we're carelessly leaving waste behind. We're acting like we have more than one planet. In my work as a photojournalist, I've seen plastic stuck in stomachs in many animals, as well as birds and fish being trapped underwater in ghost nests and other fishing tools left at sea. It is commonly known that if we don't do anything now, it will be more plastic than fish in the sea by 2050. But unfortunately, what I've seen and heard, we're already there. It is just so heartbreaking. Therefore, I made it my mission to increase awareness of harm and consequences of our behavior. We really must start to understand that we need to take much better care of the most important thing we have, our planet. Without a healthy living sea, civilization will cease to exist as we know it. In Sultana, Sweden, the first marine recycling center has been established. Here, anyone can hand in waste and old fishing gear to be reused, recycled and upcycled. In connection to the recycling center, the municipality has created a testbed for marine waste where companies, startups and innovators can test and develop new products and inventions from ocean plastics. The recycling centre is unique and was born from the necessity to do something about the enormous amounts of marine debris and to find a way to contribute to a circular economy. The local fishermen, having seen the effects of marine debris on the seafood industry firsthand, and with their enthusiasm to make a difference, have been a part of the process of building up this facility from the very beginning. Additionally, a nationwide service called Fiskerituren, where fishermen can gather and leave their used gear and fishing nets, has been established. We believe that we have to do what we can to try and create a more sustainable future and contribute to cleaning and restoring our oceans of the marine pollution. So here at the Sultanas Marine Recycling Center, uh, once the facility was established and we had a collection and a sorting system up and running, a natural question occurred, which is what is the best thing that we can do with this material? And how can we turn it into a valuable resource instead of seeing it as just waste? As designers and as consumers of these products, it's important to think about the life cycle of the products and how these choices can impact our lifestyle and our planet. Within the test bed, the beach plastics and fishing gear are ground down into smaller pieces, creating a new raw material ready for experimentation and innovation. In collaboration with RISE, tests and analyses are done to certify that the plastics are suitable for new products. Examples of applications that have already been tested are injection moulding, compression moulding and 3D printing. The companies that join forces with the recycling centre receive support all the way from the development of a concept through to production. Having the same values in relation to environment, climate change and sustainability are key factors for a successful collaboration. To make recycling easier in the future, a study on how to enhance the design of new fishing gear has been initiated. Circular design ideology is implemented so that producers can easily grasp the required measures to take into consideration at an early stage of the design process in order to contribute to a more sustainable future and to strengthen the importance of a circular economy from the very start. We're also developing a method to track and trace the material all the way from its origin point to becoming a new product. This means that the consumer will be able to see the history of the material 
all the way perhaps from the specific beach that it was collected from or the specific fishing boat where the nets were used and then all the way into the product in their hands. We also hope that each product created from this material will include what to do with it at the end of its life cycle in order for it to be recycled again. By illustrating this transparent value chain, we can really see all of the steps involved from creating this product. And that's the way that we can check if the product is going to be sustainable and if it's contributing to a circular economy. Creating this awareness for consumers is important in order to create more sustainable lifestyle choices. This fascinating research and innovation began in 2018 and really is one of a kind. With the recycling center and innovative marine testbed, the municipality of Sultanes is breaking new ground by reinventing the whole ecosystem of recycling and reusing plastic, ghost nets, and marine debris. It takes creative minds and strategies to carry out new initiative, but most of all, it takes courage, positivity, and a lot of support to lead change. Thanks to the bold and knowledgeable driving spirit at Symbios Centrum in Sotenäs, Sweden continues to be a strong leader in development of sustainable ideas. It feels great to know that through this work, Sweden is making a difference for the environment, but more importantly, for the survival of our planet. I hope that this initiative can be a source of inspiration.